Hi, I'm Elizabeth Olson, and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK, and I'm about to show you what is in my beauty bag. Ta-da! Well, the best piece of beauty advice I've ever been given is to wash your face every night, and do not ever go to bed with makeup on. Even if I like finish work at four in the morning, when I have done, I wake up with like a bright red eye and that's unpleasant and hurts. What I've learned from my sisters about beauty is about um, like half of the products in the bag. <laughs> and to see a facialist. We love our skincare. <laughs> okay, so first up in my beauty bag, I think I brought way more than um, I was supposed to because I am obsessed with many things. I'm going to naturally start with skin prep, I guess. Every day begins and ends with Biologique P50 1970. It's a toner and you're supposed to work up to using it two times a day. The only time I don't use it is if I have a peel. <laughs> Very official and this is one of my favorite products I use every day. Another thing that I love to do for skin prep is called a zip and you put some gel on your face and you turn it on, but there's something that is a current that makes your face twitch and helps lift your, your face. It helps depuff. There's like 11 programs on the app. You watch a beautiful woman who designed this product teach you how to use it and just looking at her is kind of worth the purchase. But this is one of my favorite things to use when um, my face is really tired. I've always kind of been a less is more person, but I think maybe it was about four or five years ago, I started to really invest in my skincare routine and seeing a dermatologist regularly, or facialist regularly rather. And I really wanted to invest in how to stimulate my skin from the inside out and not the outside in. As an actor, I really wanna be able to move all the parts of my face for as long as I can. And I also want to do that while feeling good about my skin texture. And so I try and do everything that um, is good for stimulation from the inside of your skin out. Another Biologique product that I love is a Glyca Serum. I feel like I need to put something that's um, more water-based first on my skin before putting on any kind of oil-based serums. And so I live for this Glyca. It is good for wrinkle prevention. And if you do it in a way where you lift up, it apparently um, helps lift your skin, but I don't understand the science behind that. So that could be a lie. But I really love this product. Another brand that I'm obsessed with is called Future Cosmetics. And I haven't met anyone who knows about this brand except for the people who see my facialist, Jonat Zolberg in Los Angeles. These are the beauty drops, which I use after my serums. It is so nourishing. Every single product so nourishing, and that's why I have three of them. We've got the Extreme Number Two, which is a cream to use after the beauty drops. And then the thing that I truly can't live without, and it's always sold out, this is their body lotion. Nothing feels better on your skin than this body lotion. And I go through it very quickly. Working as an actor has um, made me annoyingly obsessed with skincare, but I'm also very grateful for that. There's a, a part of being an actor that is incredibly vain because you have to stare at yourself every morning for a long time while people do your hair and makeup. And it makes me really care a lot about the products I'm putting on um, my skin and it just makes me a bit um, more boring at night so that I can wake up and look better in the morning. I have watched an occasional video like this to see what people use, but so I guess I don't watch beauty experts. I just watch actresses talk about their skincare like right now. If there's anything that has to do with Jodie Comer's skincare regimen, I just want to know about everything she does to have translucent skin. Next product, Shifa. Apparently also um, all natural products, but I don't really believe it when anyone says that, but I 
somehow believe this woman who created it. And this is the healing balm. It has calendula in it, which I think is really great for any kind of inflammation of your skin or dryness. But it also has a bunch of other natural oils in it that, um, that are great for, especially around my nose with allergies. It gets really dry easily. And so I always have this with me on set so that I can just in between takes put it on. It's a little too shiny to film with, but um, it is very healing. And so I love my Shifa. I feel most beautiful after I've had a really good night's sleep. I'm gonna sound really obnoxious right now. Worked out, took a nice sauna session, gotten some cold water. Nothing makes me feel better than um, that combination. What I do for mindfulness to get ready for my day or for work or for a shoot or for filming, stretching and breathing every morning. Um, so it doesn't really require anything else besides just my body in a space. <laughs> I am from LA and I don't have crystals. However, the hair and makeup women, um, Karen Bartek and Trisha Sawyer, who I use for um, almost every movie or television show I work on, they have things like quartz or black obsidian, I think I'm saying these things right, where um, when they can tell that I'm in a place, they just give it to me and tell me to put it here. And I do feel like that is helpful. I think one of the best things that I've learned from a professional makeup artist is um, just the idea to brush your eyebrows. That was something I, I never thought of or would know to do. And then the other thing is Patty Dubroff, who does my makeup often, she likes to use a uh, brow pencil to accentuate my freckles. Speaking of makeup, so Chanel makes these sticks and they're for either, like this one's like a highlighter one. I like putting it on my eyelids for makeup. <laughs> I don't put it where I guess you're supposed to put it. And then this one is like a cheeks and they have many cheeks and I don't like powder things and it's kind of, um, it's really thin and feels nice and it's easy to manipulate and move around your skin. And so that is what I like to put on my face. Uh, I use beauty as a means of self-expression in a way of, um, again, less is more to me. I want to feel confident in my skin and I do kind of play with makeup a bit in my life, but I, I think I express myself by not doing too much. I don't have much makeup in here because I don't wear that much and I think that's the way I express myself, I guess. The one thing I do that makes me instantly feel made up is using one of my little stains and putting it on my lips. I don't really need to have mascara on or makeup or whatever, but if I do that, I feel like I can, I can, have, I can go anywhere. One is a Charlotte Tilbury um, tint. She has lots of different tones. Again, it's easy to layer and manipulate. It feels like you're not really wearing anything and it lasts a long time. I'm not one for perfume. Often gives me a headache, but Diptyque roll-ons or these um, little, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of feels like a lip gloss and it's an oil. And I prefer the fig from Diptyque. And um, that's the only kind of scent I use besides whatever's on my face. Self-care to me means just um, self-love. And I feel as I get older, I have more of it, which is very nice. I think it's really helpful to try and compare ourselves um, as little, little as we can to other people uh, for lots of reasons, because you are unique in who you are. But I, I think self-care is about just appreciating all the things you could be grateful for. And there's so many if you are a healthy person who can take a walk in a park. It's just remembering gratitude and um, treating yourself with kindness. Well, that was everything in my beauty bag. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>